I'd like to read parts of an article by Peggy Noonan entitled Answering Chavez. This can be found at the Wall Street Journal site, wallstreetjournal.com, or I think it's wsj.com. Anyway, it's called Answering Chavez. The world is as hot as the devil. This is what I was thinking as I walk this week along the siren-filled streets of New York. The temperature of the world is very high. We have a global warming problem, and maybe it's due to an increase in the output of heated words. And they too can, in the end, melt ice caps. The Pope must die. The Holocaust is a lie. I can still smell the sulfur. The last, of course, from the democratically elected president of the Republic of Venezuela, population 26 million, which helps keep America going economically by selling it at significant profit, oil. His remarks were startling. No one wants to dignify them with a response, but that's a mistake because the world heard them. Now I'm gonna skip down. But here was Hugo Chavez Wednesday to the General Assembly. The pretensions of the American empire threaten the survival of mankind. The world must halt this threat. The American president talks as if he owned the world and leads a world dictatorship that must not be allowed to be consolidated. Bush will spend the rest of his days as a nightmare. The U.S. government is imperialist, fascist, assassin, genocidal, a hypocritical empire that only pretends to mourn the deaths of innocents. But not only the Middle East will rise. People of the South, oppressed by America, must strengthen ourselves, our will to do battle. That's not vague, she says. It's a call to arms. The right doesn't want to take him seriously. We don't need more problems. And the left doesn't want to see him clearly. We gave birth to that. But Chavez's speech achieved a great deal, and it is foolish to pretend otherwise. You can read the rest of the article um, on wsj.com by Miss Peggy Noonan. She's a fantastic writer, a fantastic woman, and I would encourage you all to get to know her better.